Hi, my name is Omar Renfro, and this is a first look at a deck I designed called Red Stripe Playing Cards. So taking a first look at the box, you'll notice it has my signature and 2015 on it. Why? Uh, we're not in 2015, we're in 2017. Um, but this marks the completion of the very first hand-drawn Red Stripe deck. You can find a video of me making this deck in the description below. The box features a minimal design with a continuous paint stroke going all the way around the box, similar to the very first deck. The paint stroke, signature, and year are all embossed on a linen finished paper that mimics the texture of canvas. I wanted it to feel like an actual painting when you touch the box. One of 2500 on the back so you know how many were printed. And of course copyright information on the bottom. Opening the box you'll notice that there is a hand. This is actually the hand of the King of Diamonds. I wanted to make it look like he's reaching inside and grabbing the deck of cards every time you open the box. Now looking inside the box, you'll find that it has a full color replica of the back design. And also on the edges, you'll see the ribbon that is also featured on the deck. These cards were printed by the Hanson Chen Playing Card Company on their classic paper stock and magic finish. They are also traditionally cut for easier ferrowing. So taking a look at the cards outside of the box, you'll notice that the top card is an ad card. This is actually the design of the first hand-drawn deck that I made. On the face, you'll see special thanks, and these people helped me in one way or another make this deck possible. The second card really isn't even an ad card, it's more of a puzzle. Um, and for those of you who know what it is for, congratulations. And for those of you who don't, congratulations, you lose. Looking at the two jokers, you'll notice that one is bigger than the other with the letters TYBG under it. This refers to Lil B the bass god who played a part in the completion of the very first hand drawn deck. I was listening to his mixtape thugged out and pissed off the entire time I made this deck. On the small joker, you'll find that Albert Einstein is quoted with the imagination is more important than knowledge line. I believe this to be true because imagination helps you find knowledge. It helps you get outside of that box. You'll find looking at the face cards, it's not the usual font. And that's because it's my handwriting. The spots, pips, and indexes were all handmade by me. Looking at the spot cards, you'll also notice that the orientation is a little bit different. I wanted to make the spots more symmetrical to be more convenient to find the center points for flourishes such as the pirouette, angel, and isolations. The court cards on the other hand are all asymmetrical and all different. They all extend to the edge of the playing card in a style called continuous line. You may be familiar with this by an artist by the name of Picasso, but the first time I saw it was by two different artists by the name of David Cho and Joey Colombo. The court cards also have similar features found on standard playing cards like the King of Hearts holding a sword, the Queen of Clubs with the Star of David in the middle, and various other things that you may find throughout the deck. Looking at the back design, the first thing you'll notice is the red stripe in the middle. I wanted to separate the stripe from the design, so I added a little ribbon that helps split the colors up. The horizontal split gives the deck a two-way fan feature that uses a warm and cool palette of colors to represent sunrise and the sunset. You'll also notice that the deck has a border and borderless feature. This makes for more interesting accents with spreads and fans. The black architectural lines help give the colors more direction and more motion during cardistry. 